Hi, my name is Nicole Mapwick and I'm a PhD graduate student here at the University of Arizona. I'm currently the GRA kind of managing the interim transition of the lab until we get a new curator. Uh, so I'm the main contact for the lab and we're working on a variety of projects here in the Southwest. I am studying zooarchaeology and zooarchaeology is the study of animal bones in archaeological contexts. So it's a subfield of archaeology and we take the little fragments and bits and pieces that we find from archaeological sites and then we use the Stanley J. Olson Laboratory of Zooarchaeology Zoo comparative collection to start to identify the bits and fragments so that we can start to answer questions about how animals and humans interacted in the past. And currently we're working on a project uh, with isotopes to look at sheep and goat teeth as well as cattle teeth. And so what we're trying to understand is that in the early colonial period how people were herding and managing livestock which can have a really big impact on the environment as well as the social and political structure of this region. So animals like cattle and sheep and goats are not native to this region. They're not even native to this continent. And so when you introduce them into a desert ecosystem, you're going to start seeing some big changes. And when you introduce them into an agricultural society like the Adam have, you're going to start seeing some important political and social changes happening too. Uh, I'm also working on a project in Northern California. This, this is what I was finding at my site. This, this is a crow bee. Also a lot of ducks. I found them a lot at the site I was working on. So we have some really weird looking kind of dogs. Um, we don't know what breed it is, but it's kind of a bulldog. The weirdness and the cool thing is if we bring out the wolf, this is like the sort of changes that humans have brought onto this animal. A lot of people, when they come in, I often have them guess like what kind of animal this is. And most people actually say monkey, but you already mentioned, yeah, it can't be a monkey because it doesn't have the closed orbitals. So a lot of people are very surprised to learn that it's a dog. This is a capuchin. Chestnut mandibled toucan. So this is desert tortoise, but these are um, soft shell turtles from Florida. So the cool thing about the woodpeckers is that they actually have a modified hyoid that wraps around their skull into, see it goes through their nostril right here, and it becomes their tongue. And so they have really long tongues. That's kind of the trifold purpose of this institution is supposed to educate and to do a lot of research. And Hopefully we can keep that going here.